Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Big Daddy Mo, and today's review is Too Fast, Too Furious. So the movie takes place a couple months, I'm guessing is months after the first one. Uh, Paul Walker is on a run after letting Vin Diesel get away. I'm just I'm gonna call him Vin Diesel and Paul Walker. I don't feel like calling them Brian and Dom. But um Paul Walker let Vin Diesel get away, so now he's no longer a cop and he's on a run. So he decides to go to Miami. He becomes like, you know, the main street racer there. And then he gets busted by the cops. So in order to stay out of jail, he has to again go undercover to take down this new, you know, this fucking drug guy. Oh, I'm drug dealer. Drug dealer. There we go. I was sitting there drawing a blank on what the fuck to call him. You know, kingpin drug lord whatever the bad guy but he needs help so that's when we bring in tyrese's roman pierce so honestly back in the day back in the day i loved this movie when there was only you know three fast and furious movies this one was like my favorite like but at the same time i used this movie for background noise like i used to like but then again sometimes it's good because how i met your mother is my favorite show and i use that for background noise so yeah i mean it's a compliment and kind of not i don't know but anyway uh this movie seems a lot flashier like there's like a, a lot of the uh the neon cars or whatever like the the skyline there's a lot of those type of cars you know everything is like all colorful and whatnot parties all around girls all around i mean it's a lot more than the first one um the races like it's a lot it's a lot of street races and they they go on for too long like the first the first race was 10 minutes the uh the race with um paul walker and tyrese versus the other the the two henchmen that went on for like 10 minutes i'm like yo like you know and i'm, I'm glad in this, in this movie that you know the races are not like just straight shots like they actually have to go through you know obstacles and whatnot so it makes the the races more entertaining but man did they did this did they drag but at the same time there are some awesome um there are awesome awesome scenes like i mean there's a scene when they basically have to like race to this compound to get something for for the bad guy in order to like join their team and i mean man there's like a a fucking uh one of the little bitty cars got ran over by a semi which come to find out that actually wasn't planned there was a it was a fuck up but luckily you know the 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 person got out safe but that scene that shot was just awesome and it was a mess up so wow uh now tyrese this is tyrese introduction now in this movie while he's while he's funny he's more of a he's kind of more of a dick and it's understandable because when you know um paul walker and tyrese met like he was working undercover again you know, and then all of a sudden, boom, Tyrese gets busted. So he he basically blames it on Paul Walker. Like, yo, bro, I spent, you know, three years in jail because of you. So this entire movie, while he's still, like, you know, having fun playing around, there's still that tension between the two of them because of the history they have. So, yeah, this is, like, the my least uh, favorite. Uh, fuck. This is my least um, favorite uh, movie with with Tyrese, like you know, for Roman Pierce because other movies he's like he's funny as hell, you know, he's a badass, but he's also a coward. Here he's just like an like I say, he's just an asshole the majority of the time. So I'm just like, eh. but um, Evan Mendes, you know, you you gotta have somebody. She's basically another uh, cop undercover. Um, you know, working with the bad guy and all that, and she's been in too deep and. When I saw her, I'm like, okay, so let me guess. In every movie, if Paul Walker shows up in every movie, is he going to have a different love interest? Because, I mean, we had Mia, and now we have Eva Mendes. So I'm saying I'm, I'm saying this, like, you know, with the mind of when I watched it, when I first watched it back then, that's how, that's how I was thinking. Like, is he going to keep getting a uh, a love interest every movie? But um, Eva Mendes, she was all right. I mean, it was Eva Mendes. Oh, she's hot. Eva Mendes is fucking hot. But um, bad guy by played by Cole Hauser, Verona. He's good. Uh, he he's good. That actor just always seems like the bad guy type. Like every time you see him in a movie, he's like, oh yeah, he's gonna be the bad guy. So yeah, he he did good. He did good. Um, yeah. Honestly, this is the thing though. With these movies, I don't know if I said it in the last one. I don't know if I said it in, in my last review, but. You need both Vin Diesel and Paul Walker to make these movies work. Because, I mean, the first one, great. 
Then all of a sudden, the second one, no Vin Diesel, it's cool. We even get the third one, no Paul Walker or Vin Diesel, and it's the weakest one. I mean, hell, even with Fast um, Fast 8, hell, Fast 7 and 8, like, you, 7, like, was not fully there because of, you know, Paul Walker's passing, and then 8 was just like, okay, yeah, with, th- with this story, you needed Paul Walker. So, yeah, the two of them makes the, the movie, makes this franchise. So when you missing the other, then the movie feels off. And speaking of off, bro, I swear. And the first one, he just Paul Walker seemed like a California surfer dude. And then this one, he I don't want to talk about it, cuz like nigga, when you start, yeah, what the fuck, when you start banging Crip, like it was his demeanor and all that. I'm just like Paul Walker been hanging around too many niggas in this movie, bro. He's hanging around ludicrous and shit. I don't want to talk about it, cuz I was like, oh hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. So shit like that. Shit like that was funny. I want But then again, this is directed by John Singleton. May, you know, director of Boys in the Hood. So I okay, there we go. <laughs> I can kind of see. You. But um to sum it up because I'm rambling. Uh Too Fast and Furious is an enjoyable movie. It's um one of my least favorites in the uh in the franchise. Like I said, you know, you need Vin Diesel and Paul Walker. Tyrese was a nice addition. He's he gets better in the in the series, you know, when we go to Fast Five, he's so much better than what he is right now. The bad guy was cool. The racing dragged on a bit, but there was still like some interesting, you know, car chases and whatnot. And of course, and, and of course, some some cool stunts. So, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Too Fast and Furious. It's it's a cool movie. It, it's cool. Um, yeah, check it out. I mean, like I said, we, we get um Tyrese in, in the movie. Uh, that's a, this is his um you know his intro to the Fast and Furious franchise. So it's it's a nice it's a nice to see. So um, whew, I actually made it through this review. Holy shit! So uh yes, Too Fast Too Furious. If you've seen it, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And um you know hit that like button, hit that share button. Check out my other videos. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will see y'all next time. Peace.